claims for oil spill compensation have dropped from 30 million to 23 million US dollars. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley revealed this information last night during Tobago's edition of Conversations with the Prime Minister. He stated that they are actively working with the International Oil Pollution Compensation Funds for money to cover expenses associated with the Gulf Stream oil spill. However, Chief Secretary Farley Augustine complained that the THA was not part of the conversation. Candace Jackson with the details. After receiving an agreement from the International Oil Pollution Compensation Funds for assistance with expenses from the Gulf Stream oil spill, Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley stated that they were originally seeking a claim of US $30 million. That has since been reduced down to about, last figure I saw was about 23. And when all is said and done, and we know the actual expenses, we will know what the figure is. Although a name was not disclosed, he reported that the cabinet approved an official to travel to London to work with the IOPC in determining the value of the claim. When the funding is received, Dr. Raleigh said the majority would go towards covering the costs of the cleanup from local and foreign-based entities. Much of that money will have to go to the reimbursement for what was spent by the agencies and it will also cover what was spent by the THA here in Tobago on the beach cleanup and so on. The government is also continuing to search for those responsible for the oil spill so that legal action can be taken. In the meantime, Chief Secretary Fali Augustine lamented that he is not a part of the discussions about compensation. He claimed that the only information he had was from the media and expressed a wish for the compensation to be closer to US $30 million. $23 million US brings us in at around $156.4 million TT dollars um 30 million us might be more ideal than 23 million us but at this point um without getting confirmation on in terms of what we will get in so far as compensation is pretty difficult to um estimate the THA has submitted a claim to central government but is yet to receive feedback on it once the ministry of finance makes monies available to the THA to treat with the oil spill cleanup at the media review, then we'll be able to treat with the fisher folk um, and others in the space who require some relief. The February 7th oil spill grounded fishermen and affected several businesses between Scarborough and Cano Bay. Fishermen in particular have complained that over the past three months, their livelihoods were severely impacted. However, Augustine warns that they are still evaluating the fishermen's claim and in the first instance will provide relief. Notice I'm using the term relief and not compensation. Compensation will suggest that the THA somehow put the oil there, put the vessel there, caused the disaster, and so we are compensating for that. It's relief effort. Compensation will be dependent on the identification of those responsible for the oil spill. Candace Jackson, Tobago Updates, Television News.